Today we're going to activate an alternate string pull-off in a double stop. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to, I'm a big fan of double stops. I love two finger chords because they're easy to get, not a lot of thought involved, which is, that plays to my strengths. Um, and uh, they're just, they sound good because they're leaner. You don't, you're not tempted to do a full brush stroke. You can thin out the sound a little bit. And I, I think that can sound really good. So today when we activate this alternate string pull off, we're gonna be in a C shape double stop. So that's just your normal C shape without your middle finger in play. So if you need to figure that out, just look it up, C shape in G tuning, and just your first and ring fingers. The double stop goes like this. It's going to be a downstroke on the second string, pull off on the first string, downstroke on the first string with your ring finger going back down on the string, and a thumb stroke. That's our four note pattern for this, for this particular move. All right, here we go. I'm gonna play it slowly and then I'll show you the, the pattern at various tempos. It's a real slow version. All right, here we go. A little bit more of a walk. jog. And let's go fast. Okay, this is a difficult pattern. If you do it for long stretches, which you probably don't want to do, you're going to notice a lot of tension building up in your left hand because it is left hand intensive. So take it easy on yourself. Do it for short bursts. Get used to creating that alternate string pull off within a double stop. And then we can start employing that in various tunes. And it sounds so good, this rising arpeggio within a chord. Now, you're going to realize that that ring finger It's pulling off and then it's got to get right back down on the first string to get back into your double stop shape. So that's sort of the, the trip, uh, the, this, this is going to trip you up a little bit, at least it did for me on this move. That's probably the hardest thing, pulling off with the ring finger, then getting right back down to complete the chord. So if you have questions, comments, please leave them below and I will see you next week with Banjo Blitz.